Hey, what's up, YouTube? Antayami here, and we're gonna go over how to, f I guess, formulate how to pick your main. I know a lot of people have been asking me and telling me, hey, Antayami, I've been struggling on picking a character for a character that I like to play, or a character that fits me best, or I keep jumping for all these different characters, I haven't found one that fit me. Well, today's goal, or at least this video, is to at least figure out, oh, that just went off into it. That weird front emote. Let's put it back up there real quick. Um. So a lot of people have been asking me, how do you pick your, how, how do you pick your main? What do you figure out what best fits your play style? And today we're gonna go over that in this little small short video. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be super short. So um, we'll go over that in more details. So the first thing I wanna talk about is how do you pick your main character? Well, okay, let's define what what is definition a main character. By definition of a main character is a character, one character. It's impossible to have two main characters. It's kind of like having two wives. You can only have one wife, one focus. So you can only have one main. I don't want to hear people saying, well, I main this and this and this. I mean the whole cast. There's no way nobody mains the whole cast. So, um, you can be really informational about the whole entire cast as far as what they do with the kill moves, the movement, things like that. But they optimize a character that's only one focus. So that means that if you have one focus, you're going to be mediocre in the other characters, but you're going to be really, really good in this character. So, for example, of that is Nairo with ZSS. Even though Nairo can play like a tons of billions of characters, his main is ZSS. Same thing with Zero. Zero, his main is Diddy Kong. He might play other characters like Cloud or Sheik or whatever, but his focus, his main priority is Diddy Kong. He's gonna get more results with Diddy Kong. Esam, another great Smash player, his focus is Pikachu. He may have a Corrin, or at one point, I believe he had... Oh, Samus, duh, here we go, Samus. <laughs> um, those are like his secondaries. And last but not least, I like to talk about the buzz or anti or ally ally and anti mains on both mario and the buzz main is rosalina and luma even though the buzz can play olimar secondary or anti can play like most of the other top tier characters secondaries or i think anti i mean uh, ally i forget anyway we ain't going to waste our time with that but you guys get the point one character so let me go ahead and demonstrate my main character in this game is Robin. Robin. Robin is my most developed character. Now, I might not have gotten a lot of wins based off Robin solo by myself because this game has a lot of widespread of different characters that are all viable. And Robin definitely has our matchups where it is like it's, it's a struggle to get in. Um, so definitely I have characters that can also carry the weakness of my mains, but we're gonna get more into that once we start talking about secondaries. But today um, I want to help you guys develop on how I came up with this character. Why is this my main? Like, it, it didn't happen by accident. I didn't wake up and be like, I'm going to play Robin. Like, it didn't happen that way. Um, I had tons of mains before Robin. I had Sonic. I used to main Sonic. I used to main Ike when the game first came out on 3DS. Uh, I played a lot of Ike. Um, and then, again, after that, I went to Sonic. And then I tried Peach out for a little bit. And then I went to Robin. So we'll talk about the journey, how that happens. But the things I want to hit on are the three points I want to say. The, th the three things you need to focus on while picking your main is what are your goals in Smash 4? And what I mean by what are your goals is that what do you want from this game? Are you A, a tournament player, B, a casual, C, don't even own the game, just go over your friend's house and like want to play, but you still want that one character instead of just like hitting the random button? Um... You definitely want to figure out what, why do you play this game? There's got to be a reason why you play this game. Is it to be one of the best character, like one of the best Robin. Robins in Robin. the world? Or is it to be the best Robin in, in your state? Or the best Robin in your locals? Is it to be the best player in the world at one point? If you want to be like, I can trump all the top players in the world because I know I'm capable of doing it. That's your goal. You should focus on that. Um, each goal have their own le like limits. It could be high level goals, could be low level goals, could be it's a game you just play passionately for fun. I mean, you just play with items, Smash Balls, like whatever. But you still have that character you drawn to the most. 
and judging based off your goals that you want in Smash 4, think about what, like, what you want. Why do you play it? You know, are you a Wi-Fi warrior? Are you just a Vagori player? Um, do you actually go to locals and you practice? Do you actually go to like regionals and locals? I meant regionals, regionals and majors and actually get like top eight consistently? Uh, top 32, top 64, don't, you know, drowning in pools. Like, what do you do? What is, what is your role? What do you do in this game? Think about that for a little bit, guys. I want you guys to think about it. Um, I guess I could talk about, like, some of my goals. And I'm going to talk about more Brawl than I am going to talk about Smash 4. Because I had bigger goals in Smash oh, and Brawl. My goal in Brawl was to be PR. Top 10 in state. That was my goal. I didn't care how I got there, what character I used. Uh, actually, I kind of did care what character I used. Because um, I solo made Peach in Brawl. Um... I picked up some secondaries on along the way, like Ice Climbers and Snake, Arf, and Meta Knight. But I, I'm really 90% of the time, most of my tournaments were all Peach. So I wanted to be top 10 with Peach. Little did we know, my goal was met by putting in the acumen at work to get good at with that character, to see what the top player Peaches were doing. And I took it in my own playstyle and made my Peach good. So even though Peach was considered a mid tier, I made her seem like she wasn't based on how I understood and learned the matchup because I focused on Peach. I literally put all my heart and soul and training and all this stuff into Peach. So that's how I came and developed top 10 in state with Peach in the Brawl days. Um, so I, I made my goal. My goal wasn't to be like the best Smash 4 player in the world. Oh, I'm sorry, Brawl player in the world. I just wanted to be known as this guy can have potential. I was, I was actually a threat to other states because, you know, if, you, if a Georgia is coming into NC, they can see that, oh, this guy's top 10. Blah, blah, blah. So, anyway, that's what that is about. So, what is your goal? Think about it. Or jot it down, figure it out, think about it. Just, just let me know, you know? Um, another thing is your play style. So, a lot of people have different play styles. It can be like reactionary, reactionary, reactionary. It could be read based, based off conditioning your opponent to do certain things and then reacting based off of that. Um, it could be like a campy play style, which a lot of people are like, oh, but I mean, that's a play style. Or you can also do like being aggressive like my play style is being aggressive like i like to be in your face like you literally if you see me play duck hunt you will probably see me less do like projectiles and i'll be like in your face like i saw nairo play pac-man and nairo was, as you guys can tell super aggressive he's hungry he, he wants to hit you so bad i seen this pac-man like literally not shoot out hydrants it still won it wasn't like the best pac-man but it was very effective the way he was using it because he understands his play style and he absorbs his play style into the character um, that's not no. It's not one way to play a character. You you have different different ways of playing it. Now you look at me like me playing Robin. You see a character is like, oh, I should do shit projectiles. Um, you, you can actually play any character, any style you want. I mean, I seen aggressive oh, Rosalinas oh that got in your face. That was you know ridiculous. But then again, you got people like the Buzz that kind of play kind of like more laid back, more like I'm gonna zone you out, make it really hard for you. Like kind of like counter your approaches, kind of things and zone you out. My Rosaline doesn't do that. Um, and it still is very effective. So there's no right or wrong way to play a character. It's just the way how you proceed to think and how to problem solve in small situations and how to capitalize and punish. Um, so that's what the playstyle. So think about what playstyle you like to use. I mean, that can also determine your character. Like if you like, oh, I like running away and doing stuff like that, maybe your character should be Toon Link. Or it should be like, maybe like Villager. Depending on how you like to play. If you like to zone out. I mean, I seen really good Bowser players zone. Um, we got Mar players over here. Um, you know, maybe I like my character to jump around a lot. I like jumping. Jumping feels good to me. Once you play something like Wario. I seen a lot of Yoshis jumping here. I mean, she also has an aggressive play style, but she does a lot of short hops. You know, just like over and over again. Maybe Fox could be one of those characters. Like, just think about like what you want, guys, in the character. And then once you tell, like, put down, like, okay, our goal in Smash 4 is this. Okay, I'm trying to be the best in the world. Okay, I'm an aggressor. Maybe it's your character because I I I want to be I want a character that can actually win a lot of matchups. With ZSS has tons of good matchups. Um, as we see, we have results of these characters doing really well. And then on top of that, um, it fits my playstyle because I'm being aggressive and I want to be in your face. And she's versatile and doing both. Um, another good character is probably being aggressive is probably Falcon. You know. Even um, Dr. Mario can even be considered aggressive as a low tier pick. I mean, any character you guys want to feel like you guys can fit in, 
put down your goals and then like look at the list like this is what i'm doing make a list write it down what you guys want so write down your goals write down your play style and then the next thing is it's kind of obvious but what is your favorite character and or franchise now a lot of people are like well i like uh miku well miku doesn't exist in this game i'm talking about characters that actually exist in this game like well, it's, like, it's a character in this game that you like um i mean a lot of people like the kirby franchise so they like the kirby the ddd um where's ddd uh, right beside him duh <laughs> um meta knight you know they're like i love i grew up with kirby kirby i bought all these games blah 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 it makes no sense for me not to play kirby even as a main or a secondary you still play kirby you have like that connection um of playing that character and then you'll do whatever it takes to get good about that character because you're passionately like i love this character if you love a character it's not far away that you're not going to play that character if, it, if that makes sense you have a kind of an emotion connection to that character um my characters are basically just any female characters like most of the characters i play in almost any city in game like if you look at mario party i play toadette and like peach and daisy because i like female characters most of the characters i play in this game are all females like i, I play robin um rosalina Palutena, a little bit of peach um female corn villager obviously um, we got this for now so all right guys i hope i can catch you guys in the next uh, i mean this is how it is even in pokemon i picked the female characters because one they're females two they got more clothes to pick from i mean i'm just saying it gives you more options to do stuff so i think that's really funny so i mean that's just my thing it could be like oh you like fire emblem we got tons of fire emblems oh you like oh i grew up on bayonetta i love bayonetta games why not play bayonetta oh metroid that is my game we got two metroid players here or oh man i love legend of zelda legend of zelda is my game dude we got plenty of characters in the legend of zelda um if you want to like oh my god i grew up on so much mario party i love or maybe i think i like to win by doing absolutely nothing you know like we have so many different options you guys we can just pick from so jot that down jot down like oh i, I grew up on this game i played a lot of mega man oh mega man x was amazing that's kind of the reason why scat plays mega man guys because he grew up passionately loving mega man like he grew up loving it like he loved it so that's why he mains it he didn't like do all these crazy texts just because i love the passion in the game he actually took time out and learned and developed the character and learned all these different things it's not going to be like overnight that you're going to be like amazing with your main but you got to put work into it so you know drop those things down um your goals in smash 4 your play styles and also kind of your favorite character slash franchise i mean i got a lot of sonic mains that like sonic they main sonic because they like sonic all right so going off with that so um my number one thing is why you stick with the character you do the reason why i played peach and brawl like i love playing her for one she felt so good i just love her movement i like the way she feels when she gets to hit the kill it's very creative um she had a lot of glitches like free turn up pulls and lagless turn up pulls off the ledge and things like that she was she just felt good like she has plenty of different options and stuff and i like characters that have many different options peach is one of those characters in brawl in this game not so much um she definitely is one of the complicated characters to play based off her float and canceling and her footstool confident like combos and infinites probably been patched or whatever you know what i mean like is this a different character in this game than it was in brawl and people can say well brawl peach is different than melee peach that's kind of why i kind of parted from her in this game and i picked up robin because robin definitely has a lot of cool interesting setups and combos that is situational and i think i liked it i just like the fact that the fact that i have levin sword here changes up my play style versus if i don't have it or if i don't have arc fire i change it up by doing something else like it makes it makes it, it feels good and then she also has items and projectiles and zone people then she kills early like all these things i just love about her so i want to do anything i possibly can to get better with this character because for one i have a connection with this character i love her i love her she's very unique in the game that's why i like her so if i'm your emotion connection to your character Trust me, that'd be a good enough drive to get better with that character. Um, and I'm going to really, really fast. I know this video went longer than I thought. Um, I'm going to talk about how to pick up secondaries. The main thing I want you guys to like think about when you're thinking of secondaries is what are my main weaknesses? So let's say, for example, Robin is not exactly a fast character. She might get play outplayed by characters like... Or... Or... Because they typically can outdo her, you know, like they can run laps around her, things like that. Um, 
you know, so I find out characters that like, okay, what characters or what ways I can do to make these matchups either, either in my favor by being either the better player or B, picking characters that are actually pretty decent in the matchup or a lot better or I feel comfortable in the matchup for Robin. So in the Sheik matchup, sometimes I go Doc. Now you may say that, oh, okay, um, Dr. Mar still loses the matchup, probably just as even as, as Robin. But based off my play style, I find that it's easier to beat Sheiks with my Dr. Mar than it is my Robin because the way I play. And whatever that is, you guys got to figure that for yourself. This is what I figured out that works for me. You got to figure out that work, works for you. It's going to take some time. It's not going to be overnight. But if you figure out what you want, what's your goals, you know, what's your play style, you'll find a character that can handle Sheik or Yoshi, you know. So just figure it out, you know. So, um, that's what the thing is. Um, so, and then also, somebody, again, like, you enjoy. Like, you might like, again, like you saying, like, different franchises. You may like Mario franchise and Zelda franchise. You might have a... Your main might be Zelda, but since she's, like, like not very high on the tier list, you might pick up... You know, I love Super Mario Galaxy. It used to be, like, my game. So now you're a Zelda slash... Rolo Zelina player. And Rosalina, since has a lot of good matchups, maybe matches that you feel comfortable in with Zelda, you go in with Zelda, but then matches that like you probably go against. Or, well, ZSS still kind of beats, my opinion, Rosalina, but still, it's a lot better than Zelda. You know, so it gives you more outlets and gives you more options to go out and see what you want to do. Play test, your secondaries can swap as many times as you want. I feel like your main should never switch. You should main a character that you love, secondary characters that can cover or you switch into. But I think you should main one character and one character alone and stick with it. Um, and swap around secondaries. That can always change. Because secondaries are like less of a focus, but you can still put in some pretty decent work to get better with that character. Kind of like how Armor Dongo does, you know? You, you see how he switches around? He has all these mains. He does switch mains a lot, but the thing is, is that he developed a thing to like have all these characters in his back pocket. So he may main Mewtwo now, but I'm pretty sure he still has a Meta Knight. He definitely still has a Pac-Man. So now they're probably more of his secondaries now. So just however it works for you, that's whatever. Um, I guess one thing I want to talk about, like I feel like, and I'm going to wrap up the video like with this, the, the thing that I feel like can benefit you the most, or at least my formula of how many characters you should play at a, at a time, I think you should have at least three characters. At least three characters and the thing I want to talk about is like this is my spreadsheet of being so diverse and covering a lot of matchups or catching people off guard so I say have a top tier and I'm gonna talk about my character so I have a top tier a mid tier and a low tier kind of like character so my mid tier is I think Robin is, is solid as a mid tier if you guys haven't seen my tier list video I kind of put Robin in like top 25 whatever I think that's kind of mid tier ish um then also I'm picking up Rosalina as my main because I need a top tier character that can actually handle a lot of decent matchups. So I have Rosalina and Luma for that. So I, I hate the Sonic matchup. So I pick up Rosalina for the Sonic matchup. Pretty simple. Um, and then I, I'll also I have a low tier of Dr. Mario. Um, but, you know, it's just however you guys like, decide to like to play. And this is a way that I can branch out and be different. And it can keep people on their toes. Now, people may know how to beat Rosalina. It's a video on how to kill Luma. You know, like it's crazy. A lot of people might know that matchup, but if you pop out a Dr. Mario that's like, oh my god, how'd you learn how to do half the stuff with Dr. Mario? Well, there you go. You might win the matchup because you just confuse the crap out of them. That's how I beat a lot of Sheiks because they may know this matchup because they it's around. They may know this matchup a lot. But when I pop up this and I know what to do versus Sheik and what, how the matchup works, it sways in my position even though Dr. Mario loses to Sheik. But if your opponents know how to deal with Dr. Mario, and you do, Versus Sheik? You tell me something about that matchup. It may be like 60-40, but when you when your opponent is like, what the crap is he doing? And you know what you're doing? I believe it's almost even to your advantage if you're better. Plus, if you're the better player. So, in my opinion, Dr. Mario wins versus that player. Not necessarily the character, but that player. Tell me if that makes sense. So, alright guys. Well, hopefully that jogged you guys' memory or give you guys a little bit of hope or a better understanding of who you should main in this game. And a little bit of my philosophy of how I pick up my characters and why I pick them up for, and blah, 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 blah. 
So, um, all right, guys. I catch you guys in the next video. And yeah, fam out. Peace. Yeah.